So the first thing we're going to focus on is table view. So we've enhanced the software. Um, typically when you run your simulation, first thing you get is you get a histogram view of the first measurement in your list. <clears throat> well, that, you know, that kind of is a little difficult for you if you want to jump right to measurement number six. And so you can see with this table view, what we're doing now is we're giving you all of your data first in a table view and we've added you know, this bar chart. So you can kind of at a glance after you run your simulation, you can see, oh, well this one's got the most out of spec. Maybe I should just jump right to that measure. But you can get um, your estimated ranges and all the statistics at a glance. And you'll see when I jump from, you know, one measurement to the other, the contributor analysis, which I will be addressing, will change automatically. So if I go back to the model, and we saw that we have these 11 measurements, is it updating okay over there, Ben? Yeah, it looks good, Gary. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and run a simulation, and uh, I will be addressing this in, in a minute as well, but we've had some modifications to this dialog box. But first, I'm just going to go ahead and run 10,000 simulations, and I'm going to activate the contributor analysis. So when I run this, you can see the first thing that happens. I'm going to go ahead and uh, separate this model. The first thing that happens is you get this chart here. Now you can see all 11 measurements. <clears throat> and as I click through, you can see down here how my sensitivity analysis or my contributor analysis, which is what we call it now, is changing. And then, you know, if you want to dig deeper or see this traditionally, you can double click it and then you get your results as you are used to always seeing it. And you'll notice, you'll notice, you know, it works the same when I click on this measurement. It's highlighting the features over here and I can click through, I can click through the contributors and it highlights them there here. So, you know, the power here is you get a global view of all of your measurements and you can, let me go ahead and build it. You know, you can click on whichever measurement you want, and then you can say, show max, show min, and you can see that it will rebuild. Um, I'm going to come back to this and talk about visualize effect. But one of the things that I do want to talk about is in my list of contributors, you can see we have this pull down per feature or per tolerance. So what we're starting to do is we're, you know, we are starting to add some functions that are in our um, AAO uh, analyst, and we're combining them right into the standard output. So if I look at if I look at this measurement here and I say per feature, you can see that it's listing this profile tolerance profile three. It's actually applied to multiple surfaces. And you can see that those two surfaces are contributing 11.24%. But, it, you know, if I have a large thing and I have one tolerance on multiple faces and they're all showing up in my list, I can change this to per tolerance. And then it will combine it. And now you can see that position tolerance <clears throat> profile three is right here. And it's 22.48%. So that's, you know, that's the, our table view gives us a quick snapshot and lets us, you know, guide through what tolerance it, or what measurement is it that we want to look at first. All right, Gary, we are, we're having a little bit of lag in your screen. So that just means um, you just slow down, slow down your, your mouse actions. Right. Okay. So, um, 